What's going on YouTube? Back with another one. It's going to be a real short video. Custom crankbait painting. So I'm going to show you a few when I got started out. Um, I have probably painted over 100 crankbaits. Maybe even close to 150. It's just a hobby. Something fun to do. This is just a few of them good thing about painting your own crankbaits and i have caught tons of bass off of them is you get to put your own special design on it that you're not going to find in the store so that's what's fun about it now we are going to be making a video maybe soon of me painting a crankbait but for now let's just show you some crankbait paintings uh these are some of them that when i first got started out Got these old hooks locked up together there we go just a real custom color ain't nothing too special about it got a little pearl white a little bit of lake blue and then just little splatters of black now how I did the black up here is basically go buy you a uh, soft toothbrush Get your black paint that you're painting with. You want to dip it in there. And the way I done it was I pulled the toothbrush back and I flicked it on it. Just made splatters all over it. Then after everything dried for 24 hours, then I dipped it in KBS. Now I'm no longer a fan of um, KBS because I have brought two cans and they have both hardened up within four months and I have done everything I know possible to keep them from hardening up I put them stored them in dark cool places put about 10 layers of that wax paper uh, well not the wax paper let me see what is it? this the plastic wrap I mean, I put about just double 10 to 15 layers as thick as it can be and really tightened it down, kept it in dark places and still hardened up hard as a brick. So I will no longer be investing my money in KBS. I'm going to be going with Illuminati. So as soon as I can uh, build a box, put some UV lights in it and then I'll be going with them. But anyway, there's that one. There's a little cool one I done. Got a lot of colors, a lot of stripes, scales. Something playing around with. Um, caught quite a few off of this one. Very odd pattern. I've caught quite a few off of this color. Something like a sexy shed. I mean, they turned out real great. The catch fish. That's a good thing about it. Um, This one here turned out real pretty. Definitely catch them during crawl season. I got a lot of, I really love crawl crankbaits. I've caught so many off of them. So I've got so many colors to do with crawls. So here's another crawl. Just different design, somewhat colors. And again, with the red splatter, that's done with a toothbrush. All right, now let's get into the next box. I still got more baits in here. Uh, let's see, now here's your color that uh, fish does not get to see and I've actually done really good off of it you see how it's got the uh, 
crackles running through it like like electricity lightning bolts y'all up close to that showing the fish something that they have not seen or you know because I have never seen anybody really fishing with a crackle pattern now I know a couple people that make them and they're not easy to make you got to have the right ingredients you got to be on top of your game when you're making them or you just screw it all up let's see here's another one's got the, this is a wobbly poplar this one here's got the bigger crackles I actually caught some nice fish off of this it's actually like a two-sided face you got the green over here the green and black with the splinters or lightning boats running through it you got the red pattern over this way I got some bone color ones they are not in this one um, I got I got I got all kind of colors with crawl with the lightning running through them. It's a good looking bait. Turned out pretty good. Have I fished with all the crank baits? Probably the 150 I made. No, it's just a very good, nice hobby to do. Maybe one day I get around to hitting every one of them. This one here has seen a lot of action this year. This one has caught a lot of fish. I got another one just like this that's bone color. Uh, and I got just a, just a little bit of red splinters running through it like it's bleeding. A real good looking bait. Got the jet black eyes on it. I mean, that just looks just like a crawl but basically us it's about about sums it up it's a nice good looking bait kind of resembles a brim a little bit But we'll be back with another one showing y'all how I paint the crankbaits. Planning a fishing trip tomorrow if everything works out great on that. And uh, I'll be posting my first fishing video coming into the fall. So if y'all enjoyed it, y'all stay tuned. And we'll be bringing you another one. I'm out.